But a lot of you have heard about the game management plan that we were having for uh, the Big Island. And uh, not too many people have any idea of the background of how that game management plan uh, came to be. And that's what we want to bring up tonight just a little bit, to give somebody a little bit of a history of how it got started and where it went. Because there's been some uh, comment about this. Uh, game management plan, and I actually have a comment of my own, um, which we'll get into. But uh, as Mr. Hofflinger mentioned earlier, uh, Aldo Lupo, this is a game management plan that every one of the commissioners here um, has one of these manuals, just so that we could get an idea of what game management is actually supposed to be. And um, there's a lot of ways that you can identify game management, but probably the most common in, in, in America, I mean, worldwide, game management is pretty uh, typical throughout the world and how they manage game. But we have the North American uh, management <coughs> module, no, North American wildlife management uh, and I'm not doing well tonight, uh, just <clears throat> but <clears throat> the, um, but Aldo Leupold is, is a gentleman who uh, is credited with starting the game management process. And <clears throat> uh, back in 2007, uh, we had a meeting up in Waimea with Scott Fretz, uh, who was with DOFA at the time, and several other uh, DOFA representatives that were up there, and while I don't know if Joy was with us at that meeting uh, up in Waimea, and uh, we were talking about game management and you know how do we get a game management plan, and we wanted to look in a game management plan for the Big Island primarily, and uh, the idea is to uh, request a plan to manage the state game resources, and. <clears throat> So in 2008, um, it was agreed that we would get a working group together uh, to start this. And this is comprised of DLNR uh, and Island Hunters. Uh, we developed a leadership uh, strate strategy. Uh, and we designed a scope of the plan. Um, and it would be limited to this island, so it would be fairly simple. And, <clears throat> Um, actually, <clears throat> now as part of the working group, uh, one of the criticisms that we have gotten on this plan is that uh, it wasn't a plan that uh, DLNR could uh, or wasn't comfortable with, um, and there were some comments that were made uh, about that. And one of the things that I would like to acknowledge in the fact are exactly who some of these members were uh, of this game management plan group. And besides myself and Dick Hofflinger, um, there were uh, Ed Johnson, who's passed away, Tim Ohashi, uh, John Pohemus, many of you know, Roku Kanakuni, uh, many of you know, Alan Nakagawa, John Sabati, the West Hawaii, uh, Hawaii State Game Management uh, represent. By the way, we have Ryan Kohatsu, the East Hawaii uh, Game Management uh, representative here with us this evening as well. Han Sin, who's now in California. But there are many others that um, participate in this. Ron Walker, the retired wildlife biologist. Um, dozens of people. Uh, many hunters that many of you may know. Uh, Shane DiMatos, another uh, DOFA guy from uh, Maui. Uh, we have Mark Fox from uh, Bruce Faulkner from Maui. Mark Fox from TNC, Nature Conservancy. Uh, Joe Griff John Griffin used to be the Giffen, rather. Uh, there's numbers of these people, and so we had not only hunters, we also had DLNR as a part of this working group putting together this plan. And that's how this plan uh, came to be. And in 2008, this basic outline was established. 
Um, we developed it through individual sections. We went bird by bird, uh, habitat by habitat, and area of the island. Uh, and we held 12 review meetings uh, to discuss what we had uh, gone over. And um, in April 2010, uh, we had completed a 175-page plan, um, which is basically a five-year plan for the management of Hawaii game animals. And this was submitted to the DLNR. Now, <clears throat> once we submitted that plan, um, it sat there, and it sat there for seven years. And um, so in 2015, uh, we got this plan back uh, from DLNR. And what they did was, and I'm not a, <clears throat> an educator or uh, an academic. But if I compare two documents, I like to compare the original document with the document that's been corrected or modified. And that's what we expected from DLNR when they sent this back to us. What we got was a hodgepodge of a lot of new stuff uh, that they put in there. A lot of it had to do with um, <clears throat> uh, they made a lot of change. And we, we couldn't keep track of it. I'm going to have Dick come up here. I'm not. My thought processes are, uh, but maybe I could invite you back up here for a minute. Uh, no, you're not coming. Okay, he's not coming. Um, but they made extensive modifications uh, to this plan. And rather than put them in the order that we had them in, what they did was they plastered them all over that document. And one of the problems that we had with that was that you could not compare the plan. You could not see what they did, how did it relate, what were the changes that uh, they had done to that plan as to what we had originally. And those of you who have not read that plan, uh, the original plan, you should. Um, there is a lot of history that every hunter in Hawaii should be aware of in that plan. And I do thank Richard for the, some of the stuff that uh, he dug out. Uh, and there's a lot of people that helped him that deserve a lot of credit for this as well. Um, but um, they uh, didn't make any notation where changes were. Uh, they just gave it back to us. They essentially, a good word is, would be butchered. Um, and it's incoherent and unreadable. Uh, you cannot look at that document and say, this is a game management plan. It just does not exist in that document. And so as a consequence, those of us that were involved in the original plan, uh, myself as uh, part of that, and I'm sure uh, Mr. Hofflinger and others that have do not want to put their name to that plan that the DLNR came out with. Um, it's an embarrassment. It really is. And uh, so what we would like them to do, and some of the things about it is a lot of politically correct stuff in there, had no business being in a game management plan. Um, you know, it just, we don't need, I mean, we have enough, uh, a lot of it is endangered species stuff. Uh, that they tied into that plan. You know, we have the Hunter Ed program that talks nothing of except endangered species. We uh, have, you know, reams and reams and reams of uh, publications that all talk about endangered species. Nothing is talking about game management. And uh, we don't need all this other propaganda in a game management plan. We need somebody to look at the management process. What do we have? What do we need? And where do we do it? And that is lacking in this plan that came from DLNR. Um, and some of the stuff that we want to have done requires DLNR to actually make an effort uh, in determining what's out there. You know, how much game do we have? Where is the game? If there's a plant there, what do we do with the area in between the plant? Um, and so there, there's a lot of problems with this thing. And so uh, for myself, I believe that we're sending it back uh, to them as is, and we would suggest um, that because this plan, this revised document, is not the one prepared and submitted by the Game Management Plan Working Group, uh, should not be referred to as such. Um, and there is uh, another thing, and Dave Smith was here earlier. I don't know, he must, did he leave? Yeah. He left. Um, um, excuse me, Tom, Teresa from Kona. May I ask a question? Go ahead. 
this game management plan that we're sending back that you stated, is it a revised copy that you folks have been involved with or who has been involved with? It's a revised copy. The, the revised and who copy is, yeah, is not a game management plan. Okay, the, the revised copy from the LNR back to us is not what we want. No. And what are we sending back to them? <laughs> that that whole document. <laughs> the whole document as is as it was initially sent to them. Well, uh, we what we would like the LNR to do is to sit down with us and go through this thing page by page. We would like them to sit down and say, okay, um, you know, the first three pages are three uh, areas of interest in the game management plan. We have this problem with it. We have this problem. We have this problem. We need to fix these. We would like to have a collaboration with DNLR. Uh, if they're looking at it and wanting to revise it, we would like to have them revise it with us so that we know what they're doing and do it in a concise manner is what we would like to have. Uh, that have did not happen. Request, have we requested a meeting with them? Um, no, we have not. None on that um, issue yet. We're, we're discussing it tonight. And what we're going to do Are you with looking this, for a motion? Uh, possibly. Um, not, a, not just yet. Um, but although, um, if you would like to bring a motion uh, forward, I'd be happy to entertain it. Oh, I'd like to move that the Game Management Commission Board meets with DLNR at some future date designated when is the proper time that they can confirm a date with us that this goes forward. Okay. Um, Need a second. Anybody got that? I'll second that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Can you repeat that? Yeah. Uh, essentially, what we would like to do is ask the LNR to sit down and collaborate with us section by section with that game management plan and to work with it based upon the realities that are that are here rather than some esoteric. Um, and I'm in favor of that. I, is anybody in favor? All Aye. in favor? In favor. Aye. Okay. Um, so the motion is that we're going to go back to DLNR and ask them to collaborate with us section by section with that. And if there are problems with an area, that we work them out together with DLNR and then bring the plan back uh, and submit it to the public for review. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, aye. Aye. Uh, all right. No nays. Okay. So carried. Um, that basically, thank you. Uh, any comments from the, yes. Yeah. yeah. Tom, Teresa and Kona. Yes. Can you say you amended my motion to read as you stated? <laughs> I'm not thinking. I'm not sure what I said. No, but it's already in the recorder, so you just say uh, you hereby amend Teresa's motion. I, I, okay, I amend Teresa's request to. We have a guest here at the table. Okay, I second. Thank okay. you. Amen. I'm also a Dave Smith, not the other two Dave Smiths that also exist. Um, a quick question it, it took seven years for them to return that hodgepodge with air quotes. Um, I'm 37 now. Is it going to be another seven years before we get it back? Or is my daughter going to be in high school? Well, are we going to set parameters on a time frame for review? I mean, because we can ask for a request to review this, but if we don't set parameters, like we'd like a response within this certain date, it, it can sit in perpetuity, you know, for another seven years. Uh, you're exactly right. And in fact, um, some stuff has been sitting here since 2002 uh, that's still not resolved over on the Kona side for a habitat conservation plant, for example. In 2000, just with start to drink, so thank you. <laughs> this is a habit with DLNR, and, and I agree with you. I think that uh, when we do go back to them, we'll ask them, say, look, we'd like to have a timetable. Let's do this in six months or a year and whatever it might be. Uh, and, I, and I agree. Thank you for that. Because the only analogy I can do is if we're doing a, a dock inspection on some lettuce, if we don't want to talk about it, the lettuce is just going to sit there, and eventually the lettuce goes bad. And, well... The problem solved, but in this case, it's not really solving the problem; it's ignoring it. So, that's exactly right. And uh, thank you, Dave. Thanks. Thank you.